All right, lads, I'm Danny Dyer, and I'm here in South London catching up with some of the lads at Britain's meanest football firms. Today, I'm on the streets of Bermondsey to see how lockdown is affecting the city's toughest firms. Have London's artists let COVID stop them? Have they fucked? Trust me, this lot are harder than GCSE fucking maths. Where's that? Some of this mad lot are setting aside their differences to join forces. Let's find out more. Good to see all the firms maintaining government rules on face masks to keep them safe from infection. You can see here, given the prevalence of heart disease and type 2 diabetes, the Millwall are taking no chances to keep their members safe. Yeah, Danny, mate. We're out here defending our cultural heritage. The last bastion defended British values against the mob. Words that the Antifa, the BLM lot, and all them melts are on their way down here now to tear down our most beloved money. Damn these ten gold weekly. Loving me non bread makes me racist. You call me racist. The Mayor of London says reopening the city is a tough balancing act, but he's well confident he can restart football violence safely. The real concern for me, however, is the effect on the grassroots game. And a lot of the time, it was a local firm and its local boozer that was the only thing keeping these kids off the streets and misbehaving. 